Fortune hunters are going absolutely bananas for Bitcoin. The dizzying ascent continued today. For the first time ever, the digital currency jumped past $18,000. 10 years ago, it didn't even exist. Let's look past the euphoria for just a moment here. The staggering increase in value is raising all kinds of concerns. Skeptics call it a fraud or the biggest bubble since tulip mania in the 1600s. One analyst likened it to an absurd video game with no boundaries. And yet, Bitcoin's total value has eclipsed New Zealand's GDP. It's more valuable than Boeing, the world's largest aerospace company. And it's bigger than the banking giants Goldman Sachs and UBS combined. Even if Bill Gates and Warren Buffett pooled their fortunes, they wouldn't have enough to buy all the Bitcoins in the world. They would have, they would have had a better chance in March when a Bitcoin was worth around $1,000. If you bought one then, by June, you would have doubled your money, quadrupled it by August, and at one point today, your initial investment would have grown nearly 19-fold. Okay, so let's talk to a Bitcoin bull about this. Ronnie Moaz is an analyst with Standpoint Research. He's raised his Bitcoin target price four times over the past month from $7,500 all the way up to $28,000. That's where he expects Bitcoin to be by the end of 2018. He joins us now from Miami Beach. Ronnie, walk us through this, because I, I mean, I can hear the argument. I see people flooding into the market. What is it that makes Bitcoin worth $28,000? It's worth a lot more than $28,000. That is only my target for next year. We have right now $200 trillion in the world spread out across stocks, bonds, cash, and gold. And all four of those are overvalued. If 2% of that $200 trillion ends up in cryptocurrency, you're looking at a $4 trillion valuation, 10 times where we are today, and that would send Bitcoin to $150,000 if it holds on to its current market share. But, I, I mean, what, help me understand this, because a dollar is worth a dollar because we all believe it's worth a dollar and you can trade it for stuff. I guess gold and diamonds, you, you, can, you can value them. What is it about this? Is it, is it a store of value? Is it a speculation that down the road somewhere, this bet that it's worth this much is going to catch up with the actual value of the commodity itself? What is it that makes it worth it? Everybody asks me what is backing Bitcoin, and my response is, what is backing the U.S. dollar? Well, the Federal Reserve, dropped, for one. It has dropped 75% of its value since I was born 50 years ago. Not only is this a currency, it, it, is, a, it is one of the top 20 currencies in the world right now, and I believe it's going to be the number one currency in the world within 10 years. That would put the valuation at $6 trillion dollars, and that would exactly be where China and gold is today. I don't know how much gold there is in the ground. I know how much Bitcoin there is. I also know that within a couple of years, there will be hundreds of millions of people trying to get their hands on a few million Bitcoin, and there will be no reaction from the supply side of the equation because the supply is capped. There will be 100 million new crypto account accounts being opened next year. Right now, more than one million accounts are being opened every week. I have never in my life seen such a mind-boggling imbalance between supply and demand. And Bitcoin, in my opinion, is significantly undervalued, even though it has already gone up 2,000 percent this year. I, I guess my issue, though, is I look at it and I look at these numbers. I look at this year alone. I was looking at Coinbase, one of the big exchanges today that says the price of Bitcoin at that point, it's gone up above this now. But at that point, it was at like 15,900 and some dollars. And then the column beside it is how much it's gone up by this year. And it's gone up by $15,100. It is a staggering line when you look at the, the curve in which this thing has gone up. And you have to look at that and say to yourself, well, that, that, that looks by every measure like a bubble that is about to burst. There's no bubble. If there's a bubble, it's in the stock market or some other market. It's not in Bitcoin. 99% of the people in the world are still not in this game. We are going to hit 3, 4, 5, 6% penetration a few years from now, and that is what will drive this price deep into the six figures. There are no slam dunks here, and I strongly advise people who are investing in crypto to be diversified across at least a dozen of these 1,000 names that are currently in this space. MySpace got wiped out by Facebook. 
Buster Douglas knocked out Mike Tyson. The iPhone wiped out BlackBerry. Uber wiped out the taxi drivers. There is no guarantee that Bitcoin will stay at the top of the mountain, but I believe that they will remain at the top of the mountain. And the, and the, the coin price right now is undervalued by between 80 and 90 percent, according to my conservative estimates. There are actually two highly regarded people last week that have million dollar targets on this. There's a lot of people that have a lot of different targets on this. I don't want to get too deep in the weeds on this, but there's also an awful lot of exchanges. You've got Bitcoin, you've got Ethereum, you have all different sort of cryptocurrencies out there. Some of them are going to fail. Are you betting that Bitcoin is the one that will survive? And, and what happens, do you think, to those other cryptocurrencies, those other exchanges that are out there trading other cryptocurrencies and seeing some of the benefit of the Bitcoin rise as well? Well, I strongly advise people to spread their investments, investments out across five different exchanges. This way, if one of them gets hacked or goes bust for whatever reason, you only lost 20 percent of your money, which is not a lot if you're making hundreds of percent on the money that you have in the four other exchanges that stayed on their feet. Uh, just really quickly before you go, I, I, I wonder if you'll tell us, I don't know if you're, you're disclosing this, at what point you bought in and, and what your stake is now in Bitcoin? I am fully invested and I'm still buying it at the current prices. It's undervalued by between 80 and 90 percent, in my opinion. I have never seen anything like this in 20 years. My clients are already up 500 percent since I put the recommendation out on the 3rd of July. All right. This has been a wild ride to watch. And, Ronnie, we appreciate your insight on all of this. Thank you for having me. Ronnie Moaz, analyst with Standpoint Research.